I'm a frugal minimalist, both by choice and by necessity. But it doesn't mean that I always save every penny. No, I save whenever I can and then I spend more on things that do matter to me. Since a young age, I've understood that knowing how to do or make things yourself does not only make you stable financially, but mentally as well. Because you no longer depend on other people, you rely on yourself, on your own skills, on your hands and on your mind. And today, in this video, I will share with you five things that I've learned to do or to make myself, things that contribute to my financial well-being and save me not only money, but worries as well. I will break down key benefits of each thing and also say how exactly it saves me money. And in the end of the video, I will also share one thing that I hope to learn in the near future and I'm very excited about it. So make sure to watch the video till the end. But before we begin, hi, I'm so glad to have you all here. And if you're new to this channel, I'm Anna, and here I talk about minimalism, mindful and simple living, and all kinds of personal adventures and thoughts that they trigger. So, skill or thing number one, which is not a very obvious one. This includes various techniques such as myofascial release, drainage massage, some acupressure elements, gua sha, etc. My body has to deal with a lot of emotions and tensions that they cause, and those tensions can later on grow into migraines, back and neck problems, and other unpleasant sensations or creases on my face. And self-massage is a perfect tool to deal with all of that. I think I've learned the first acupressure techniques when I was not even 10 years old. My mother taught me how to deal with some sinuses problems during the cold or a flu using like some acupressure techniques. And since then I've read quite a few books on that and I finished some courses and thus I kind of collected a library of my favorite techniques. I'm not a medical professional and this is just my personal experience. That's why I'm not showing or telling you exactly what I do. You can find tons of information online or offline where you live. You just need to do your own research. I personally cannot afford having weekly or monthly manual therapy experiences or having face massage done by a cosmetologist. That's why I had to learn everything myself. And here are the key benefits of self-massaging that I have discovered. It's a simple yet effective way to maintain physical health through stimulation of blood flow and circulation, which is so often underestimated. You know your own body better than anyone and can address the areas and issues that might be not noticed by a professional. Also, through self-massaging, you make the mind and body connection stronger. You need just your own hands and maybe a couple of inexpensive tools, nothing else. But of course, there are situations when you need to seek professional help or consultation, because self-massaging is a way just to maintain health, not to heal. So please remember that. And now onto the second skill that is pretty obvious if you have been on this channel for a while. I'm a passionate maker and my goal is to have a wardrobe that is 100% me made. But of course, realistically, maybe 80% would be great. By learning how to make your own clothes, you finally begin to understand how much time and effort is invested into that. You begin to value your garments more and you begin to give them the care that they really deserve. Everything that I demonstrate in this chapter was made by me and for me, and I'm not going to stop. 
But of course, I understand that on this path, many people can encounter certain and very serious challenges, such as the absence of good and suitable tools. I've been there and I still lack a lot of instruments that I might need, but I'm still trying to make it work. And also, you can try to find some tools in the thrift shops that are available to you, or even use some instruments that were left from your elderly family members. For example, most of the crochet hooks that I have are left from my mom from the Soviet times, and I don't want to replace them with anything else. Another challenge is finding good materials. And trust me, I know this challenge so well. <laughs> but look at this dress that I'm showing to you right now. I've made it from a cotton tablecloth. Yes, it was just enough of material for me to make a whole dress. I cannot even imagine all the treasures hiding in thrift shops in Europe or in the US. I have heard of them, and if you are living there and have access to those thrift shops, you are so lucky. And here are the key benefits of making clothes yourself. It boosts self-confidence and provides tangible evidence that you can make this. You get to choose the color, the cut, the feel, and the meaning behind your clothes. It's just more ethical. You reduce your environmental impact by creating sustainably and using what you've made much longer and more lovingly. And if you use patterns, you support independent pattern makers, not big and faceless corporations. Skill number three. And this does not only come to clothing, it can be everything from desk lamp to apartment renovation. When I was 17, I worked all summer as a junior renovation specialist. It was a very low paid and physical job, but I've learned some very basic and very useful skills that actually made me more confident in other areas of my life. Now, with YouTube and all sorts of learning platforms, we can learn to mend or repair almost anything. And this brings so much satisfaction and comfort, knowing that we have at least a little bit of control over our environment. There are so many things in life that cannot be fixed. These are immaterial things, experiences, losses, sorrows. That's why I find this mending slash repairing skill so crucial for my mental well-being. Sewing buttons, darning hand-knitted socks, repairing chairs or painting walls – all these are fantastic acts of empowering yourself, which comes with the following benefits. You can add a new twist and style to your old things without overspending. You choose the most sustainable way of owning things with respect to the environment. This reduces eco-anxiety considerably. You celebrate time and stories behind things and add value to your everyday life through interacting with them. And now to skill number four. I never went to any art school, but it didn't keep me away from trying new things, such as drawing, collaging, making some simple designs that I could use both in my personal and professional projects. I didn't use other people's services for that, I used my own. And by learning simple design skills while I was still working as a copywriter, I was able to offer my clients more elevated services that were also better paid. And also, by developing my personal style of hand drawing and collaging, I've managed to finally begin to make some money as an artist, and it feels just amazing. But of course, these art and design skills are not just for the sake of money. They are nourishing me, they are giving me a sense of living, and it's priceless. So here are some key benefits of having certain art and design skills. It's the ultimate tool of expressing yourself and your own stance in life. 
It's the way to surpass your inner limits. It helps focus better and alleviates challenges related to ADHD. It drastically improves social skills and also provides a feeling of community. And the final skill for today, skill number five that I exercise daily together with billions of people on this planet. Yeah, it's a very obvious, mundane skill, but a very important one nowadays, especially for those of us who are on a more or less tight budget. And cooking has endless benefits, such as it allows using the ingredients that you personally picked, checked, and prepped. You can control and plan your nutrients intake. You can try different dishes and cuisines without overpaying at restaurants. But first of all, it's one of the coziest activities to have at home. Although it comes with its own challenges. For example, for some people, buying pre-cooked meals or ordering takeaways is much cheaper than buying the same ingredients in supermarkets or in grocery stores and cooking everything at home. And I personally notice this more and more often. Food prices are surging all over the world and it's becoming harder and harder to maintain a healthy and nutritious diet while cooking at home. But overall, in the long run, cooking does save a lot of money because of the physical and mental wellness that you create with it. And now let me tell you one skill that I want to learn in the near future, and I hope that it will be a success. I want to learn how to cut hair. Not only mine, but ultimately Brian's as well. I know it will require some time and quite, quite a bit of dedication, but I'm very excited to try. Making, doing things without relying on anyone else, we manifest ourselves in this world. We create our own environment. We literally build our well-being through being present, creative, and ambitious in a good way. We gain more control over our life, which is very precious amidst everything that is happening in different parts of the world. Feel free to share in the comments which of these skills you practice and which you would like to add to this list. I'm very excited to know. And thank you so much for being here and watching, dear friends. I value your time and attention so much. And big thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon and other tipping platforms, because it's you who make this channel possible. And for now, be safe and keep your heart open. And I will see you soon. Пока-пока.